patience and perseverance often go hand in hand and without either of those one should not dream of success good morning one and all present here today's assembly is brought to you by class 9d and our topic for the day is patience and perseverance pave the way to success being patient can be tough sometimes but if we continue to believe in god our patience will slowly but surely build up and after all what good is patience without devotion so to start things off i would like to call ridhma for the opening shloka followed by kashish for the prayer please join your hands close your eyes and please do not repeat ओम त्रयंबक यजामहेश सुगंधम पुष्टि वर्धनम उर्वारुकमिव बंधनात मृत्योर्मोक्षीय मामृतात ओम शांति ही शांति ही शांति ही ओ गॉड माय क्रिएटर आई थैंक यू फॉर द गिफ्ट ऑफ लाइफ फॉर योर लव व्हिच हैज ब्रॉट मी इनटू बीइंग दैट आई माइट नो यू एंड लव मेक मी यूज माय फैकल्टीज माय सेंसेस माय स्ट्रेंथ अकॉर्डिंग टू योर लॉ इन अ मैनर व्हिच रिस्पेक्ट्स योर प्लान फॉर मी थैंक्स बी टू गॉड Words are not just a tool to express yourself. They can sometimes be so impactful that they can provoke a sense of self-realization, which is an important ingredient in building up your patience. So, I would like to call Shifali for the thought of the day. Good morning to one and all present here. The thought for the day is: learning patience and perseverance can be a difficult experience, but once conquered. you will find life never difficult as it brings the magical effects of success before which the difficulties disappear and the obstacles vanish thank you now to shed further light on the topic i would like to present a ppt before you all before we move on we should first understand what is patience and perseverance so do you have any ideas what is patience let me give you a hint it is not only the ability of a person to wait for a prolonged period of time in fact it is the ability of a person to be persistent in his efforts whilst things are not going his way it is the ability which motivates a person to never give up but then what is perseverance is it the same as patience or is there any difference perseverance is the quality which leads a man to success and victory amidst failures it is the great driving force behind every triumph now that the meanings are out of the way let's proceed further being patient especially after failing again and again is extremely difficult so how does one constantly keep trying even after failing well it is believed that thomas edison failed 999 times before inventing the light bulb after which he famously said that i didn't fail 999 times i just found 999 ways which were incorrect the key to success lies in patience and all of us need to realize that no one has ever achieved big success without failing therefore it is in our best to be persistent while never giving up but how does one not give up and still be motivated The answer lies in experimenting. Experimenting does not mean changing your goal every now and then. In fact, you should never deter an inch from it. Experimenting means changing your approach to achieving your goal. After all, Mr. Edison experimented 999 times. All of us should need to realize the importance of experimenting as that will slowly but surely build up our perseverance. Thank you. Thank you, Matrix. मनुष्य को धैर्यवान होना चाहिए धैर्य नकारात्मक ऊर्जाओं और बुराइयों से लड़ने की शक्ति देता है यश नाइक we must exercise patience in the presence of obstacles with patience we can overcome difficulties because in patience lies the willingness to stay calm to collect our energies and thoughts and to focus our thoughts in finding a solution we should all learn from water about which margaret atwood has said and i quote water does not resist 
water flows. When you plunge your hand into it, all you feel is a caress. Water is not a solid wall. It will not stop you. But water always goes where it wants to go. And nothing in the end can stand against it. Water is patient. Dripping water wears away a stone. Remember that, my child. Remember you are half water. If you can't go through an obstacle, go around it. Water does. Unquote. For it is well known that with every problem which arises in the universe, a solution has already taken birth. All we need is the patience and perseverance to find it. Thank you. Thanks for igniting motivation in us, Yash. Kashvi, tumhe kya lagta hai? Manushri ko mushkil se bhi mushkil samay mein dhere ka saath kaise dena chahiye? Meri khyaal se dhere tatha dhirta. Dono hi manushri ke liye bohat dhanyabad. Dhere kathin paristitiyo ko sahinchilta ka sujhaap dete hai. Aur dhirta yaha nidharit karti hai ki manav apne lakshya ko praap karne mein kaise saksham rai. इसी के साथ मैं कश्मी वर्मा आज आपके समक्ष एक कविता प्रस्तुत करने जा रही हूँ जो धैर्य से जुड़ी तथा उसको अपना मूल मंत्र बता जो टूट गई उम्मीद तेरी पर तू कभी ना टूटना ऐसे इम्तिहानों से मांडा यह आसान नहीं होगा मुझे तो रब सला वक्त से पहले भी किसी को कब मिला है जीवन तो उतार चढ़ाव का सिलसिला है अंधेरी रात के बाद ही होता है नया सवेरा सही समय आएगा तू धैर्य तो रख सला जीवन सागर में सब्र का बांध लगाना होगा हर एक एक कदम सूझ भूझ कर बढ़ाना होगा जिंदगी की कश्ती को धैर्य से पार करा सही समय आएगा तू धैर्य तो रख जरा धैर्य कि जीवन का सबसे बड़ा मूल मंत्र है मुश्किलों से लड़ने का एकमात्र शस्त्र है अधैर्य मुसीबतों को करता जाता है गहरा सही समय आएगा तो धैर्य तो रख जरा तो धैर्य तो रख जरा कभी दास जी ने भी सही कहा है धीरे धीरे रे मना धीरे सब कुछ हुए माली सीज सौ घड़े ऋतु आए फल इसमें कभी दास जी ने कहा है कि हमें हर एक काम एक नियमित गति से ही करना चाहिए यह जरूरी नहीं है कि जल्दबाजी करने से कोई भी काम जल्दी हो जाए उदाहरण देते हुए उन्होंने कहा है कि माली भले ही हर दिन अपने पेड़ में सौ घड़े पानी डाले मगर उसमें फल तभी उगेंगे जब ऋतु आने अतः धैर्य और संयम दोनों ही अति आवश्यक है धन्यवाद वाह कश्मी इन सुंदर शब्दों से हमें प्रेरित करने के लिए धन्यवाद Shreya, what do you think? Are we rushing past everything without enjoying the beauty of life? What are your thoughts on the topic? Kashish, I think that patience is necessary for success, as it teaches us to value the efforts and not just the outcome. I also believe that all good things come to those who wait, but sadly, these golden words have been left behind in today's fast-paced society. So now, with the intention of explaining the importance of patience. I am going to recite a self-composed poem. Why is it taking so long? We sing this every day like a song. Can you please do it fast? This is what they usually ask. Just stop, wait, and enjoy the beauty of time. Success is like just playing a mind. Heights of success can be reached if the virtue of patience is understood and preached. We should not expect fruits as soon as we sow. Even strong tall trees need time to grow. Even strong tall trees need time to grow. Thank you. Thank you for the inspiring words, Shreya. Teachers are the most experienced, and their advice is always crucial. Therefore, I would like to call Dr. Archana Mishra to explain the virtue of patience. I would like to carry it forward with a short story, and the title is "The Power of Not Yet." There was a couple who loved antiques and pottery, especially teacups. One day in an antique shop they saw a beautiful teacup. They asked the shopkeeper, "May we see that? We have never seen one quite so lovely." As the lady handed it to them, suddenly the teacup spoke. "I have always been a teacup. There was a time when I was a red clay. My master took me and rolled me and patted me over and over and I yelled out, 'Let me be. 
but he only smiled and said not yet then i was placed on a spinning wheel and suddenly spun around and around and around i yelled and yelled stop it i'm getting dizzy but the master only nodded and said then he put me in the oven and i felt such heat as i had never experienced before i wondered why he wanted to burn me and i yelled and knocked on the door i could see him through the opening and i could read his lips as he shook his head not yet finally the door opened he put me on the shelf and i began to cool but then he started brushing and painting me all over the fumes were horrible i thought i would gag stop it stop it i cried but he only smiled and nodded not yet then suddenly he put me back into the oven again but this oven was not like the first one it was twice as hot and i know i would not survive i would suffocate i begged i pleaded but i could see him saying not yet when i was sure that there wasn't any hope for me i was ready to give up just then the door opened he took me out and placed on the shelf one hour later he handed me a mirror and said look at yourself and i did i said that's not me it's beautiful then he said i want you to remember one thing i know it hurts to be rolled and patted but if i had left you alone you wouldn't have dried you would have dried up i know it made you dizzy to spin around on the wheel but i if i would have left you over there you would have crumbled and if i would have not put you in the oven you would have cracked so i know the fumes were bad when i brushed and painted you all over but if i hadn't done you would have never hardened now you are a finished product you are what i had in my mind when i first began with you so dear children this is the power of not yet patience and perseverance pays we often mistake as a dead end what actually is just a stepping stone to newer heights which our human minds can't foresee the struggles you are in today are developing the strength you need for tomorrow so without fear of self doubt have the courage to face the obstacles and success will be yours mantra is winners don't do different things they do things differently thank you thank you so very much ma'am for inspiring us during these difficult times mankind has made a lot of mistakes therefore it is in our best to ask god for forgiveness as we try to get out of the situation so i would like to call adya for the forgiveness prayer today i ask forgiveness for all the negative and careless actions of the human mind in the midst of this covid-19 pandemic spreading across the world we ask in your mercy that you would heal and comfort those who are sick and suffering please give us strength to endure the situation and to find the blessings and lessons it contains transform our thoughts and let us understand how our bodies can contribute to the universe now i would request our principal ma'am to address this august assembly and share us with her thoughts on the topic uh, indeed the assembly was very very meaningful and uh, the topic of course it aligns with the philosophy of your school children archana ma'am told you a story right so there is some outside force which is trying to you know mold you into what you should be and so many of you have spoken about the virtues of patience and perseverance you know we have deliberately put one thing in our school logo the school of conscious transformation that has been deliberately put over there if you look around you will not find a school where the logo has got two lines like this today the topic that you've taken these two are the virtues which are essential for you to consciously transform yourself you all have an aim in life you all have a goal so your little little goals will take you to the bigger aim of life but you cannot wait patiently and keep saying okay things will happen for that you will have to change some of your habits which you will have to find in yourself and changing a habit many times you've heard how difficult it is we all are aware of that 
So children, imagine yourself in a cart and you are right there seated in the center of the cart and on the cart, you are there and in front of you is written my dream. Patience and perseverance are two strong wheels of this cart which can help you to achieve that aim because they help you to consciously transform yourself. And you've repeated this in all that you've said today. So keep working at yourself. These two are related because when you persevere, you will find solutions. On the way, you will have obstacles. And these obstacles have to be handled with a lot of patience. Thank you. The best way to build up on your patience is by continuing to believe in God. Because when you do that, you continue to believe in yourself. Therefore, to conclude this assembly, I would like to call Ishan for the last shloka. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschid Dukh Bhagbhavet Om Shantihi Shantihi Shantihi